Hey subscribers, working on the 1985 GMC C2500 with a 5.9 Cummins conversion. Now over the winter I had some badness. The Turbo 400 blew up on it. So I did a 4L80E conversion. That's what all this is right here. Gotta pretty that up still. Should have took a video of that, but I didn't. But today I am going to work on doing a custom gauge cluster build. Now, I just tested it and this oil pressure gauge and this temperature gauge, I know they work. And I have two more gauge clusters. This is why I'm doing this build. Now this one has a speedometer with a separate tripometer, tripometer, excuse me. And it has a shift indicator from a 700 R4 in it, which will work perfect with the 4L80E. Now this gauge cluster has the hard to find clock in it. So I'm gonna take pieces from all three of them and build one nice gauge cluster. I pulled off the plastic dash cover. And in order to do that, you gotta take a bunch of Phillips head screws out. It's not too complicated. There's a rubber grommet on the column you just slide up now you have to pull out the headlight switch I just put it back in to show how to remove it now there's a button right there you just press that in and let me get you in position and pull it out and the headlight knob comes right out this one's a little messed up that's why it gave me some trouble. Now you gotta disconnect your battery because they'll just leave the headlights on. And if you gotta change the headlight switch, you just unscrew this and it'll pop right out. The next step to get the gauge cluster out is to remove the vinyl dash. And as you can see, this side's already loose, but this side is stuck. There are four 930 seconds head screws along the bottom. So I'm gonna take those out now and just pull the dash out. I forgot there's one Phillips head screw hiding right there and you need a stubby screwdriver to get to that guy. And after a little finagling, the dash comes out. The cool part is you get to find all sorts of nice treasures. Somebody really liked this truck at one time. Might be asking what all this crap is in the cab. Well, as I work on the truck, I order parts and I just throw them in the cab. So that way, when I decide to really work on it, I can just jam out on it, get it done. I vacuumed up all the nasties that were up in here. So now I just gotta take these screws out and the gauge cluster will be removed. So in order to get this dash out, you gotta pop the electrical plug here and take the speedometer cable off, which is pretty easy. Just push up on that little tab and that releases it. But it's out. I have no idea what this thing is. I think it's like a little light that went to the ashtray. Might not work because that's burned up right there. At any rate, out of these three, I should make one good dashboard. Finished up building my custom gauge cluster. It wasn't too hard, just unscrewing all the gauges and screwing them all back into the new gauge cluster. Replace the shift indicator. Clock is in. This doesn't seem to work, but I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm waiting for the knob to come in so I can mess with it. I took a Dremel opened up the hole in the back for the clock like it's supposed to be. So now I'm gonna install in the truck and see if all the lights work. So I figured out what this thing is. It's just a fiber optic cable that takes light from this bulb and transfers it down to here. This was clipped into the ashtray to light up the ashtray. So I ordered a new fiber optic cable from Amazon and I'll cut it and see if I can make it work again. I think that's just really cool. While I had the dash all ripped apart, 
I decided to install the corner speakers underneath the dash. I put new speakers in over here and over there. And then a friend of mine gave me a set of corner speakers for the cab corners. So I put those in, wired them all up. I ran the wires inside the door seals. So now the radio sounds pretty good. I have a little bit of wiring left to do underneath here. This truck had a check engine light on this piece right in that square opening. So I sourced a, one of these from a truck with a 6.2 diesel in it. So it has the weight. Then the other side says water and fuel. So I just got to run some wires to the Cummins fuel filter so that'll work. I also cleaned up the wiring for this guy, which is going to mount right there. So it's coming along. I'm just waiting on that fiber optic cable to come in. And then I can reassemble. So until then, if you guys like this video, be sure to like and subscribe down below. And I'll catch you later.